Hi everybody, it's Debbie from Deb's Crochet Cafe. Or Deb's Crochet and Knit Cafe. <laughs> um, I am doing the, uh, the, um, oh, oh my gosh. The Leap Hopper Cluster Stitch. So... And it's working out really good. I tried doing it in cotton. And this is what it's doing in cotton. It's curling. It's going up that. It's curling in instead of being straight. So either that or I have to block it or something. I'm not really sure. But it's a two row repeat. Um, and I, I did this in uh, Premier Basic D, uh, DK. Which is uh, double knitted. Premier Light 3 and the color is Pastel Petal Pink and I am too close right now there we go let me get this out of the way <laughs> hold on one second guys and get some of this stuff out of the way and I will be showing my, um, it's a petal pink. I will be showing my, um, my, uh, swatch from last week, which was the feather stitch. And, um, but this is a lightweight three. And it's working up really well. I mean, it's curling a little bit, but not too bad. Um, my lighting in here is bad. Maybe that's better. That looked a little bit better. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, that's a little bit better. All right. And now, what I have done, it's multiples of four. And I did a total of 24, which is six, six rows of four. And 4 times 6 is 24. I added 25. And then I added 3 more. So it's a multiple of 4 plus 3. So, but I added 1 because my swatch is 25 inches. So I just chained 1. Um, so I can get the 7 by 7, which is... Oh, which is it? I gotta get my other eyeballs on. <laughs> so I can see. Okay. Which is seven inches. So right at the zero. To seven. Okay. Alright. Now let's get started here. Okay, we're going to start with a slip stitch. And this is how I always do my slip stitches. Out of anything I crochet. Okay, and then we're going to do one, two, three, dog on it, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, that's eight. One, two, three, four, that's twelve. One, two, two, three, four, that's uh, sixteen. One, Two, three, and four, plus one, which is twenty-four, then twenty-five, and then you chain three. So one, two, and three. Now what we're going to do though with this stitch is we're going to, um, uh, 
we're going to flip it over and work the back side. If you're working the back side of the, uh, <coughs> the leaf, sorry, excuse me, uh, the leaf, leaf hopper stitch. So we're going to do, there's one, two, three, we're going to chain three, or the three, it's going to be your first double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, go through that loop right there. Let me bring my camera. There we go. Okay. Hold on. I uh. <laughs> Okay. Back side. We got one, two, three. There's the first double crochet there. And you're going to go into fourth stitch. So right here, you're going to go in that stitch there. And in that top stitch. And you're going to double crochet, which I don't think, I think I forgot the yarn. Yeah, I did. Yarn over. Let me find out if that's right. One, two, three, and four. Okay. That was in the right one. You're going to yarn over, go through that, those two loops there. Bring it out. Bring it up a little bit. Or no, that's... <laughs> And you're going to double crochet all the way across. So that's two double crochets. And you're going to skip one and go into the next. So skip one, go into the next. It's basically doing what you would do when you um, do your stitch on a chain three or chain four or a chain two. You're going to go in the next, and you're going to go in both those, sorry about that. You're going to go in both those loops there. Yarn over. Pull through. And I forgot to yarn over first. Yarn over. Skip one. Yarn over and go through those two loops there. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through the first two, and pull through the second two. Okay, and we're going to repeat this all the way across. One double crochet on the back side of the two stitches, which is right here. And just kind of maneuver your hook in there. Yarn over, doggone it. This is the hardest thing. If you can get bypass this part of the chain stitch, putting their stitches in the chain stitch, that's... <laughs> and some people do a foundation one first of single crochets all the way across. But here, we're, with this stitch, we got to do the... Uh, or you don't have to, but you, you, you're, uh, you go into those two stitches there. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over again, go through the first two, and go through the last two. If I can. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I twisted my hook. That's okay, though, because that's not going to really, we're not going to worry about that. Okay. And then in the next stitch, we're working on the back side. This, I mean... If you guys are struggling, don't worry about it. Just want, take it slow and let your fingers, you know, do it for you. Oh, come on. Sometimes you gotta bring your index finger up to help, kind of help you. There we go, maybe. Nope. Pog on it. There we go. Go right in between that, right there. There we go. Turn over, pull through. Turn over, go for the first two and the second two. This is the hardest part. If you guys can get through this, it's 
be a lot easier for you once you get this row done. The very beginning row is always the hardest because it's trying to get into that stitch. And if you're having problems getting into that stitch, kind of twist your hook like so, like this. Twist your hook. And go through, yarn over, through the first two, and the last two. There's your double crochet. <clears throat> Let me back up this a little bit. Well, I'll keep it down, that way you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. And go into the next, yarn over, go into the next stitch. Yarn over, go through the first two, go through the second two. And I've noticed this yarn is very soft through my fingers. That's probably one of the reasons why it's uh, working the way it is. Yarn over, go through the next stitch. Make sure you're working the back stitch or back in the chain, back of the chain. Come on, go through it. There we go. Sometimes talking it to it, talking to your yarn or your <laughs> talking to it helps. Just don't argue with it. <laughs> that and then yarn over go through the next stitch right there yarn over go through the first two go through the second two okay and then you're going to repeat that all the way across if you need more practice on it practice it for a little while longer and i will see you at the end Okay, now we're at the at last stitch. Alright, now we're going to yarn over. Go through that last stitch. The back post. That little bump right there. And the other stitch. Go through both. Yarn over, go through. Yarn over again, go through the first two, and go through the second two. Okay, and that's what you got. Okay, now for the second row, we're gonna do the leap frog stitch or the leap leaf hopper stitch. Okay, now we're gonna chain or turn our work, and we're, we're doing it backwards, kind of, because usually we chain three and then turn. But this time we're going to do chain three, one, two, and three. And then we're going to go into you're not going to go into that stitch right there, but you're going to go into oh my lighting. Sorry guys for my lighting. You're not going to go into this stitch right here. You're going to go into the following stitch. Okay, because the chain three is your first double crochet. And you're going to go into the next stitch and work one double crochet. Sorry, that was my wrist that just popped. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over, go down to the previous row, do a, um, like you're going to do a, um, front post and wrap it around there bring it up a little bit okay you're gonna yarn over and yarn over and you're gonna go through the next one 
yarn over again, pull it through, okay, bring it up as much as you can, okay, and then you're going to go through two, and so you're going through four stitches, okay, and then you're going to yarn over again, go through the next double crochet from previous row and bring up your yarn a little bit yarn over do the same thing again bring it up yarn over go through the first four and then go through all three stitches and there's your leaf hopper stitch now the next one the next stitches we're going to be doing is three regular double crochets but the first one is going to be in the back here of that pup, that back, um, the back or the front post stitch is what I would call it. Okay, there's that one. And then you're going to double crochet in this one. Sorry, my hands are kind of shaking. If you guys have any questions or anything or if you can't see the stitches or whatever, let me know. There's two, and whoops, and three. Okay, so this one's going to overlap the other one, so that, that's fine. So, and then what we're going to do, after we do the three double crochets, you're gonna yarn over. I'm gonna I'm gonna try something with this stitch too because I worked it up a little bit and I think it would work out a little bit better because we like in the beginning here we skipped one. Um, I think I'm gonna skip one. I'm not gonna chain or anything. I'm just gonna skip this one here and go into the next. So maybe it won't start. Um curling as much okay bring up your yarn okay yarn over pull up the, the next one like a front post double crochet okay and you're gonna go through yarn over you're gonna go through the first four and leave two loops on your hook okay see that okay you're gonna yarn over again do the same thing that we just did. Bring it up a little bit. Yarn over. Go through. Yarn or pull your yarn up. Go through the first four and then all three. Okay. Yeah, that works a lot better. I like that. Now you can really see that stitch a lot better. See it? Now you can really see that stitch. So after the three double crochets, you skip one, okay? All right, now we're going to do three double crochets again. You're going to go in that back double crochet that you front posted. Well, kind of front posted. That's one. Two. And three. Sorry about my lighting, you guys. I just, ugh. Let me try something. There we go. Maybe that's too bright, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you got my shadow, though, because I got the windows open over there. Let me try and do that real quick. I'll be right back. All right, that's a lot better. Okay, so after the three double crochets, okay, you're going to skip one, yarn over,
Yarn over, skip one, go to the next. Like you're doing a front post, but you're not. Bring your yarn up, yarn over, bring your arm like a front post, bring your yarn up, go through the first four loops, yarn over again, go into the next, bring up your yarn, yarn over, do the next one, yarn over, bring it up. And go through the first four and then all three okay yarn over go through your back loop in the back of that double crochet and then you're going to do I'm sorry guys let me redo that Apparently my fingers were off the camera. Sorry about that. Okay, after the three, and yarn over, skip one, like you're doing a front post. Whoops, duck on it. Skip one. your yarn, yarn over, go to the next one, yarn over, bring your yarn up as much as possible, go through the first four, two loops on your hook, yarn over, go through the next one, like you're doing a front post, yarn over, go through this next one yarn over back through yarn over for the first four and then yarn over and go through all three okay and then we have one two three stitches left so we're going to do the back post here or not the back post I'm sorry double crochet behind this stitch right here and the last, like front post double crochet. It looks like a front post is what it does. So you're gonna go into that stitch there and double crochet, double crochet. And we should have two stitches left, double crochet and last stitch. And double crochet. Oh, my yarn's all twisted. There we go. All right. Now what we're going to do, if you want, you can. Um, no, I, w I wouldn't. Chain, nope. Doggone it. Turn your work as soon as that stitch is done. Okay, it is starting to curl a little bit, but not too bad. Not too bad. And then we're going to do all double crochets now. So you're going to do your first one, which is a chain three. Turn and chain three. And then you're going to do... You're going to skip that one and go to the next. And double crochet. Double crochet. Crochet. You're just going to double crochet all the way across. I guess the more you work up or whatever, I guess the more you're, it'll, uh, 
I guess pan out. I don't know. And I have noticed though with myself doing lightweight three, it is kind of a challenge. That's why my hands are shaking. And yes, that one thing I have noticed with um, crocheting is, well, and knitting has taught me to do the same thing, is you have got to count your stitches. Especially if you're working up a pattern that it, say that you have so, so and so or such and such uh, stitches. And if you count them and you don't have that many stitches, the last stitch, we're going to go through the two right there like we did at the beginning. Yarn over, go through, and double crochet. Okay, and then we're going to turn. Turn your work. And there you go. You, if you want me to do, I'll, I'll go ahead and help you with the next, um, although it's going to start curling again. Um, okay, let me do this row with you, and then two and three, and then go from there. Okay, you're going to skip that one, go to the next, do like a front post, double crochet, bring up your yarn. Go to the next double crochet from the previous row. Bring up your yarn. Go through the first four. Okay. Yarn over. Like you're going to do a front post double crochet. Yarn over again. Go through this next one. Pull up your yarn. Go through the first four. And then go through the first or the next three. Okay. I'm going to repeat that all the way across. Yeah, see it's starting to curl and I don't know why. Hmm. Well, I'm going to do some research on this one to find out why it's curling so bad. And that, um, because I have a double crochet in each one, but I'm not sure why it's curling. I'm not really sure on that. The first row was great. But doing the second row and the third row is not so great. Um, let me do some research on this stitch and I'll get back to you guys later on. It might be later on in the month or whatever for next month. But it is, it's doing the same thing that the cotton yarn is. But this is the yarn that I'm using right now, the Petal Pink is 100% acrylic so I'll have to get back to you guys and find out why um, the next one I'll probably do or show you is the uh, petal stitch um, I'm sorry not the petal stitch the tulip stitch um, from what I can tell it's a row of V stitches and a row of uh, Three double crochets but all in one stitch so um like a popcorn stitch um but yeah i will talk to you guys later love you all be safe be good to others and do good and i will see you guys later on the next video bye guys